Happy early Thursday, everyone, and today I'd like to talk about the uh, poster I recently set up. And it's uh, a poster of Sleipnir, um, the horse, the eight-legged horse that Odin rides. And uh, him and Odin facing uh, Fenrir, basically. And Fenrir is the, uh, the wolfish uh, spawn of Loki, basically, uh, that is set to devour Odin and uh, some of the other gods and bring about Ragnarok um, along with the goddess Hela and uh, the uh, the serpent, the world serpent, Jormungard, uh, which is the uh, the enemy basically of Thor, son of Odin. And uh, right there we can see the uh, basically the final battle between Fenrir, Odin, and of course, Odin, Odin riding sleep near, and eventually Odin will be devoured by Fenrir, as it says in the sagas, and poetic out of the prose out of. Um, and uh, really, the reason why I got this poster and the reason why I put it up is because we all have this certain thing that we'll always face, and we can push it back for as long as possible. We can we can uh, try to be somebody who lasts longer, who um, becomes more adept at battle, uh, so that when we fight our last battle, uh, we are more effective at it. But the battle is always won by, in the end, and now in, in Odin's case, it's Fenrir, but he represents chaos. In our, uh, instance, for every single human being, for every living thing, it's death. Um, Fenrir represents the death of Odin because Chaos will eventually be the death of Odin. Um, he's that wolf that is bound uh, by the gods, by the Aesir, um, and one that was bound through the sacrifice of Tiwaz, of his right hand, his sword hand, uh, which is the god of order. And so order sacrificed its sword hand, its, its ability uh, to fight in order to uh, bind Fenrir Chaos uh, for you know, as long as possible. And, you know, Odin and Tiwaz, Tiwaz, the god of order, uh, order, and Odin, the god, basically, of all the gods, the all-father, the, uh, the all-knower, in a way, because he's constantly seeking knowledge. Um, they both try and stave off chaos for as long as possible. And uh, most of these stories are very symbolic, and um, they also apply to our lives, uh, that... If we're a person of order who loves order, we have to sacrifice our ability to fight anywhere else but against chaos, like Tiwaz did. And uh, if we're somebody like the All Father, or we're all All Fathers in our lives in a way, uh, our intellect might be Tiwaz, our uh, being, our spirit, our soul, whatever you want to call it. Uh, is like the all-father of our bodies as we try and rule ourselves and understand ourselves and try to prolong um, our communication and uh, community in this world. Um, and it can only be staved off for so long. Chaos. Death. These things can only be staved off for so long. But there is virtue in trying to stave them off and doing so in a way which is virtuous. And only virtue can stave off our own destruction for, and the destruction of our community, our family, our friends, and our world. Uh, it can only stave it off for so long, but there is virtue in trying to help these things last longer. And that's what Odin teaches, is that per perseverance and uh, preservation of oneself and others is basically the task of uh, the spiritualist, the virtuous man. Uh, he who tries to command his own existence. And that's a good thing, trying to command our own existence while understanding that it will come to an end. And that, in a way, the knowledge Odin seeks is kind of like the god above him, in a way. Um, if you're Asatru, uh, then a lot of the time you'll believe in a source, an ultimate source that's even above Odin, because there are heavens above Asgard, uh, as it is said in the sagas. There are heavens above it that'll last beyond Ragnarok. And, you know, you gotta ask yourself, where are those heavens? And what is the source of those heavens? And this is not something that uh, our ancestors did not think about, or uh, the Nordic uh, ancestors of 
any person with any kind of blood that is Nordic, uh, they thought about that. They, they realized that uh, there were things beyond what they understood. And Odin the Allfather is basically all symbolizes all the knowledge that they understood and that even we understand nowadays. And if we, even if we don't understand it as uh, Odin and uh, Mimir's well and Asgard and uh, the Jotun and all the things that kind of make up this pantheon and group of ideas, um, there are things beyond them that we don't understand even now, and they understood that back then. And basically, the one highest is basically the source of all these things, the uh, the thing which lasts eternal. And um, ag acknowledging that we can't prevent our own deaths, and the downfall of our family, our community, our uh, nation, our world, uh, is a good thing to keep in mind because it is the one thing that is certain. And... Um, the more we push uh, for preservation, we have to understand another thing. That preservation is a, a temporary solution. Any preservation of anything is a temporary solution. And, uh, you know, and we also have to realize that's okay um, as long as we try. It's not that we have to be victorious at Ragnarok. It's that we have to try to be victorious against the forces of chaos because that's the only thing we can do. That's the only kind of person we can be if we're going to be a virtuous person, if we're going to be a seeker of knowledge, a seeker of wisdom, and a seeker of uh, preservation for this world. And it's all in the trying. And the reason why I have this poster on my wall uh, is that I want to think about on a regular basis – what it means to sacrifice pieces of oneself and uh, try to attain knowledge uh, that one would under that one understands. Uh, the reason that we do that is so that we can virtuously stave off the chaotic destruction of this world, and that those things matter, even if they're only temporary solutions. And you know, there are things beyond Ragnarok, things that Ragnarok can't touch, that will. Uh, be there after Ragnarok and uh, after multiple Ragnaroks. Um, we can compare it to the Big Bang after multiple Big Bangs. Um, no matter how many Big Bangs there are, there will be a renewal. Uh, no matter what is destroyed and how often it's destroyed. So that's the contemplation that I have for this poster and that's why I put it up because I want to think about this more. So I would highly recommend that anybody who wants to think about how one should uh, preserve order, should bring about peace. Um, anyone who contemplates these things uh, should have some kind of symbol that they constantly look toward. Mine is very big. My symbol for uh, staving off chaos <laughs> is obviously very big on this wall, but I have so many other symbols on and amulets and talismans and uh, vives and um, sigils. Uh, I create these things to not only to remind myself, to, but to be that order in my life that I want to see affected so that everything does last, last longer, according my, uh, including myself. Because I do want myself to last longer, but really the only way I'm going to last longer is if everybody else lasts longer, if there's peace. And that's just a very basic principle that we have to understand. We have to realize that in order for us to last longer, we have to make everything last longer. And you know, it's a temporary solution. Oh, it's, 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 most solutions are temporary. And uh, time is the uh, harbinger of all defeats and all deaths and all endings. But the quality of life that we have doesn't have to um, be diminished in our minds and in our reality just because we know it's going to end. Look forward. Don't get caught up in the fact that everything will be destroyed. Everything that we know will be destroyed and our knowledge definitely ends and uh, the sources of our knowledge may end don't get caught up in that get caught up in doing right now so that rightness can last longer and that's all i got to say i if you enjoyed this video at all if you found any kind of piece of it uh interesting or informative or something that you might contemplate on uh, please give me a like and uh, i'd love a subscribe so uh thanks everybody for watching and uh May virtue and order be with you.